Equivalent fractions are essentially fractions that are the same representation of one unit. So if we take um, a very simple example, um, a half is equal to 2 over 4. Um, and the way we work this out is we work out what are we multiplying to get over here. So 2 times 2 is 4, right? So uh, this is a multiply by 2. So 1 times 2 is equal to 2, and 2 times 2 is equal to 4. So we get 2 over 4. So all you're doing is multiplying the top and the bottom by the same thing and then getting a new fraction. So say um, we wanted, say we want three fifths, but we we want the bottom of three fifths to be actually a 15. So what do we have to multiply a five to get 15? We multiply it by three. So the bottom by three is 15 and the top by three is nine. Three times three is nine. So 3 over 5 and 9 over 15 are the same thing. So this is a times 3. Um, now we have the other version of it, whereas when we're dividing. So let's take, for example, um, we've got 125 over 150. And say for some reason we want the bottom to be 6. So we divide this by whatever it takes us to get to 6. Um, the easier way to do that is to take six, multiply it by something, something, something until we get to 150. There's a few different ways you'll get there. It's um, it's a bit slow, but um, 25 into 150 gives us six. Six times 25 gets 150. Um, and five into one two, or 25 into 125 goes five times. So we that's divide by 25. So. You might remember from primary school, I'll show you this diagram now, is this thing called the, um, the fraction wall or the, the unit wall, or there's a few different words. Um, and basically this shows us our equivalent fractions. It's like a pen here. Because um, you can see that two quarters, two of these quarters equal to one half. Um, let's see, three tenths here is equal to uh, what looks like two sevenths. Um, but there's loads of different ways of doing it. Um, so the question is then, why do we need to actually use this? Two really, um, there's only two real ma main ways of using them. First way is to simplify. Simplify. Okay, so it's really important at the end of um, a question, if you're left with something like this, that you don't just leave it like that, unless you can't do anything else with it. I always like to check numbers. Can you divide the numbers in? And I can see straight away that nine goes into both of these numbers. So nine into 81 goes nine times and nine into 18 goes twice. So you get two over nine. Now we don't go any further. We've, we've got to the end. Another one could be um, eight over 10. And eight over 10, if we divide both by two, we get four over five. So there we have an easier it, it looks a lot nicer and it's a lot easier to look at. The other way we use equivalent fractions is when we are um, ordering fractions. So if we wanted, say, like I said earlier up here, we wanted the bottom to be 15. Say if we had a bunch of fractions that had the bottom of 15, you'd want them all to get the bottom of 15. So you'd move them all up. And that's called equivalent fractions, multiplying the bottom and the top by the same amount. So in the next video, we're going to look at how we order fractions. Um, in a few different ways, um, using equivalent fractions and um, other methods.